Greetings all, it is I, Samuel Farron, and welcome back to more Let's Translate Trails at Dawn. Last time we uh, killed a big old slime monster and uh, saved the reporter girl. And now we're going around and uh, like buying sweets and stuff. But we think there might be someone following us, so gotta be careful, that's the wrong button. That's the right button, good. So let's go back to, uh, wait, it just says go back to the office. That was like the only option that wasn't grayed out. We're supposed to be going and buying some damn sweets. <sighs> oh, wow. It's so red and shit. Uh, oh shit! This boy getting rude out here with his girl. Uh, he said, "All right, we just need to go to one more place." And then Anya's like, "Van, um, uh," and he's like, "Just shut up and follow me." <laughs> Fucking rude. Kind of sigma though. Not gonna lie. Kind of hella respect to Russell. That's grind and hustle for those of you who are not informed. <laughs> he said, "You want a flower?" When I walked up to him, yo, Van, uh, welcome. Uh, this is perfect. I made something new, and I thought you'd like really like to try it. You mean the rumored uh, like new thing that you made? It's a special sweet muffin made using nectar. I'll uh, go bring one out. So, please wait. Oh, uh, can you bring two out then? Uh, please. Uh, Van, are you maybe? And don't tell me you uh, noticed, did you? No. Uh, uh, I don't smell anything bad per se, but you should be on your guard anyway. Uh, thank you for waiting. I'm very proud of this, so please uh, enjoy. We got the goods. Thank you very much. All right then, let's go back to the office. Uh, I feel bad making them wait. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently it's nothing bad, according to Van's uh, sense of smell, but it does seem we are being followed. Just up here, I guess. Uh, are they gonna, like, come out soon? Oh, never mind. Uh, he said, are we gonna go and, uh, like, get them? <laughs> I think is what he meant, and, uh, like, so, go catch the one that's been, like, uh, stalking us, or just wait and like, wait and see kind of thing. In other words, just keep walking around. So, yeah, we're gonna go catch him. Oh! The lighting, bruh! <gasps> oh, it's her. Wearing a face mask. <laughs> Why the hell is she here, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a Oh, he had one of those? It's a small child. She's so cute. I'm just a child. Oh, I didn't think I'd uh, lose to a regular citizen. No, you noticed from the start and lured me here, didn't you? Yeah, because I didn't think we could shake you off. Oh. What I used just now was like a camouflage feature that you can do with Shard, although it's a bit different to uh, what Rounder does. So, so you can even do that? Mm, that's amazing. You might be even better uh, than the rumors like pin you for. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, the good thing that I like Decided to come here even though our father, or Ab, was against it. Ab? Uh, Ab? Oh, 
I guess it's like a different language for father. Because it's written like father below it, but then ab on top. That way of uh like uh saying father. That's a Middle Eastern dialect, isn't it? Your clothes and the way you carry yourself. Are you perhaps? Oh, uh, actually, I have a doubly bad feeling about this. Huh? Well, damn. You're so young, but you're a, a Kruger or a, yeah, Kulga Kruger mercenary. I didn't use me. No. Uh, uh, not not mercenary, uh, Jaeger, that's it. And uh, you're just a little girl, too. Uh, I'm the oldest child of the deputy leader of the Kruger fighters, uh, Ferida. Uh, Alphide is my name. Uh, Spriggan, Sir Ar Arkride. Will you uh, listen to my request? Oh, she. The Kruger Fighters. So there are people like that too. And the Western Ishgar mountain range, uh, like southern part, that's like uh, the Mid Eastern, uh, like the north part of the Mid Eastern thing of the. This is fucking weird. Okay, so they they say east and then south, and then they say east again, and then they say north in this sentence. It's really Hi. fucking confusing. Uh, yes, we're. Like us Kruger people uh, worship fire as well as the wing goddess uh, Arush, Arusha. Uh, we live in uh, like the mountain regions in a village, and like fighting as uh, warriors is like our uh, custom. Well, basically, they're a high-ranking uh, Jaeger group that represents the Middle East of the continent. And uh, they're like kind of a tribe as well, kind of thing. But they're famous because they value uh, pride and tradition and won't accept like any dirty job. Well, with that being said, I don't know if I can agree with them making a small child like this fight. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, I'm still not like, uh, like a full-on fighter, I guess. I want to become a really, like, good fighter, just like my, uh, father and the others, uh, as soon as I can. Uh, she's very <laughs> pure and innocent. <laughs> yeah, she seems like a very honest, uh, girl, too. Uh, so you, uh, something about a different Jaeger core. Okay, uh, so she, th these are like the same sentence, but just split up for some reason, so I couldn't really translate it. But basically, she's saying, like, both of these translate to, so, uh, you're searching for, uh, people that belong to Eisen Shield that are a different Jaeger core to you, uh, and that's why you're here. Uh, those guys are also pretty famous around the, like, middle of the continent. There are another high-ranking Jaeger Corps uh, that's comprised mainly of former army people that uh, like live in the uh, Freedom City region. And there are another like pretty honorable Jaeger group and they are uh, like they're left in charge of like maintaining peace in the city. I see. There's a, like, a lot of different types. <laughs> Yes, uh, but we uh, often fight with these uh, uh, warriors from uh, Eisen Shield. There was a proxy war in which we fought each other 
like half a month ago. I guess that was what we saw at the beginning of the chapter. Uh, after that, we both uh, returned to our like respective hometowns. And, but apparently, a uh, a division of the Eisen Shield hasn't returned yet. Uh, you sure they haven't just like taken on another job? Yes, actually, uh, their main commander came over to our village and like asked us about it. Uh, my father, you know the uh, like uh, second in command, is like worried and he's uh doing everything he can too. Hmm, uh, division of uh, eyes and shield, huh? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I don't follow. I want you two uh, both like opposing each other like half a month ago. Hi, so this Uh, we were, but. Oh, uh, Jaegers are just that kind of like, they just do that kind of thing. They can be fighting to the death one day, but the next they'll be, uh, like perfectly chill with each other. It's pretty common for your enemies, uh, at one point to like turn into your, uh, allies, after all, when you're a Jaeger. I see. Uh, sorry, uh, I guess I said something weird. Uh, but it's just as you say, Van. Uh, we don't like hate each other or anything. In fact, uh, the leader of the like division that went missing is actually really nice to me. Hmm. Uh, what kind of person are they? Aida san teyu, onna ryohei de aizen shirito demo yubiyori no jitsuryokisha desu. Uh, she's a female Jaeger called, uh, uh, Aida, and he's one of the strongest in, uh, Aizen Shield. Uh, I've known her ever since I became a fighter two years ago. Whenever we weren't fighting or, like, in our joint training sessions, she'd always, uh, Teach me a lot of things. Uh, I have a, uh, oh, I mistranslated something earlier. She says here I've got uh, a little sister and a little brother, but also uh, an older brother who's a lot older than me. Yeah, when she said, uh, like she said something earlier, like I'm the oldest uh, child, but, and I translated as that, but she meant I'm the oldest uh, female child. That's like a weird fucking thing they do in, they just say in Japanese. So yeah, she's the oldest uh, female child of the, like, I guess, uh, second in command of this Jaeger Corps. Yeah. Uh, she's like a, a real sister to me, and even though I'm a lot younger, she treats me like a friend. She's really precious to me. But when I asked to be included in the search party, they wouldn't let me. But uh, Abu says that uh, I'm still only 13 and I only know like my village and the battlefield there. I see. I see, so you were worried and you came as far as the uh, Republic to search for her then. <laughs> yes, this is the first time I ever like left my village by myself. Uh, I came using buses and uh, trains. Because I know that uh, Aida's group came back through uh, the Republic when they were like meant to be going home. I think it's likely that they went missing around uh, in this country. <laughs> I've heard rumors about you, Lord Fan, from uh, the, the other warriors in the village. Uh, I heard that you're a, someone who like takes requests 
from Jaegers and that you do this thing called like a friggin in the capital. Uh, this is the whoa. Uh, uh, this is the like a clump of algem, and it says uh, silver shining stone. Is that like? Can uh, you take this as payment and help me uh, search for Aida? Oh, uh, this is something I got as a reward, as like a like doing uh, like as a warrior. Uh, very. Hmm, judging by that size, it's probably worth about 100,000 Mira. But uh, you can worry about payment and stuff later. And just for the record, we charge a uh, thousand Mira per hour. That covers everything. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck doing this for a hundred hours. Uh, uh? Honestly, you could just uh, be honest. Uh, you're gonna help her, aren't you? <laughs> don't go deciding that. Honestly, it seems like it'll be pretty hard work. A whole division from a high-ranking Jaeger Corps going completely, uh, like completely vanishing. It smells of nothing but trouble. And it's not like we can really leave the capital since I'm still doing your quest. Huh? それって... Uh, what's that? Oh my. <laughs> uh, according to my great-grandfather's diary, the eight of these genesises, like, attract one another. We haven't had a reaction like this before, at least not until hearing, uh, Fairy's, uh, like, uh, story. <laughs> Is this some kind of a cult shit? Uh, what is that pretty looking device you have there? <laughs> it's, uh, like a memento from my great grandfather, and it's, uh, but it's got some, like, interesting power. It might actually help us uh, in searching for uh, that Ida person, too. R really? <laughs> Stop getting ahead of yourself. I don't know if I'm going to take this on yet, but might as well go through what we know. Uh, tell us everything you know, uh, client. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hello. I love this song, by the way. The one that's playing right now. Um, we managed to get some pretty good information there, but... But everything was kind of, like, fragmented. We don't have anything really big to go off of. Yeah. So the Republic really is a huge place, isn't it? I mean, I kind of figured that by looking at maps, but... There's so many different... Uh, like, organizations and, uh, like, forces. Well, it is, uh, one of the two major countries. Actually, no, now it's, uh, like, the major country, I guess. There are a lot of other Jaeger groups, even aside from, uh, like, Kruger and, uh, Eisenschild. I just realized it's Eisenschild, not Eisenschild. But there are cases where they stay T, but they actually mean D in Japanese, so maybe I'll keep calling it shield. Sounds kind of cooler than just Eisen... No, well, actually, no, it's, it's obviously a German word. No, so, like, Eisen Schilt. Yeah. Oh, my bad. And also, uh, there's, like, syndicates and mafia, a strange organization, as well as spies from other countries. It's likely that Aida and her group uh, were, like, hiding their identities, trying to get through. If so, it's going to be difficult to track where they went. It'll be fine. Uh, it's Van doing this, after all. Uh, you have a lot of shady connections, right? <laughs> when did you get so honest? Well, I won't deny it. Uh, it says, like, uh, 
young man's voice. Van, huh? I had a feeling you'd be calling soon. It's voice. Yeah, it's gotta be this guy. <laughs> I was 50-50 on calling you, but... Seems you, uh, know about this request that I'm taking on, don't you? Yes, and about uh, Farida uh, Alf Alfide, the daughter of the uh, second in command of the Kruger fighters. She asked you to search for uh, the Eisenschild, uh like division, didn't she? How? You were probably being tracked as soon as you uh, like entered the city. And also, uh, they have like a database, you probably found out from that. But the fact that you know specifically what she requested means that... CID is also involved in this uh, disappearance of that Eisenschild, uh, like, uh, division. Ah. Really? Yes, uh, going back about ten days. We found that uh, Eisenschild division uh, going, like, trying to uh, go through Calvert to get back to their, like, Freedom City. As you know, it's not strictly forbidden for, like, Jaeger groups to actually uh, come into our country. But naturally, uh, us at CID like to make sure that we know everything uh, that the Jaeger groups are doing at all times. And very rarely, we sometimes have the especially uh, skilled Jaeger groups serve as training partners for our, like, special division. But really? Uh, your special division? EID's special division, Hercules, huh? They slipped up majorly in the capital of the Empire, uh, two years ago, and ever since then they've been kind of... Well, they've been taking support because they've been weak. And honestly speaking, their proficiency uh, widely varies. Mm, but we thought it would be a good idea to have one of our best uh, like groups go up against the uh, the fire-eating bird Ida's group. Huh. Although that being said, we weren't actually fighting. It was just an operation to like uh, catch capture them. Oh, okay. When he said that they have. They make, uh, they get, like, Jaeger groups to serve as their, like, training opponents. They didn't mean voluntarily, so I guess these guys just, like, assaulted fucking Ida's group out of nowhere. But anyway, he said, they, like, were looking pretty good for a while, but, uh, they, they broke through and managed to escape. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess that's to be expected of the fire-eating bird. Uh, like, she was, uh, the ace of that one, uh, that one Jaeger group, after all. Yeah, I heard rumors, but... Uh, I'm a little confused. You're saying this happened uh, 10 days ago? So you mean that uh, <clears throat> Ida and the others didn't get caught or anything? That's right. Uh, that is all I know. Uh, I'll send you the, like, data where we found them. This is just me repaying you for the other day. Uh, you'll have to do the rest yourself. Uh, wait! Oh, for God's sake, it was completely his fault. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess that would make sense. CID, uh, that's the Republic's, like, information uh, authority, isn't it? <laughs> Miss Ada really is amazing, getting through people like that. Well, I guess it's uh, a good thing you're positive, at least. Well, we've managed to narrow it down a bit. Let's uh, organize our information and see what we know. I guess that'll do it. This is where CID's unit caught up with uh, Ida's division, and also where they lost them. Hmm. By the position of uh, CID's backup, the way they could have ran off to would be uh, these three directions. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, client, Anya's too. Which route do you think looks the most suspicious? God damn, he's asking me again. Uh. The most likely would probably be looking at it from a point of view of uh, like the distribution of uh, like settlements and also the lay of the land. 
Oh, fuck me. I, I thought she was going to say it for me. Uh, she said something about the terrain, not the lay of the land, but like... Now I can't really see. I'm guessing like wherever there's like mountains. Wait a second. It's, it's, it says mountains on the map there. Okay, so the bottom one says uh, they went northwest uh, through like the fucking, uh, what does that word say? Uh, the National Highway. And then they went either through Ord or Lemiferia and returned that way. Or they went like, uh, or they went to uh, Messeldam and like got a boat to get back. Or they went uh, through uh, or or Orashion to go back to their like Freedom City. I think it's this one. I think this is the most likely. Since they were marked, they probably wouldn't do something as bold as taking a direct route. Although that being said, a few days ago, uh, Messeldam fort had like a bomb threat and it's been like it's been like watched. Oh, it was that way well, after all. Damn it. Yeah, I, I noticed afterwards, but there's those uh, Shedder Great Hills. They could probably use, I was just thinking of like the forest, like they'd want to get to a forest. But I guess that's like the direct route back to their place. I didn't know that. If they chose this route there, like ways of getting back would multiply, would uh, go up to two or four. In order to get rid of CID's mark on them too, it would make sense to go through a foreign country first. So uh, the most likely place they'd want to go through would be... Trail Village. Ah! A farming village famous for its views located in the north uh, west part. Uh, I haven't been there before, but do you know something, uh, Fairy? Yes, I heard about it from Aida. Even though it's like in the countryside, it's quite good for uh, transport and also you can like like resupply and stuff there. She said it was a very pretty village and the food was really good, so she'd uh, love to go like play there sometime. I see. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's shining. What the hell kind of... How does this thing work? You just talk about something that might be related and then it starts shining? That's insane. Guess that's decided then, client. Tomorrow morning we head to... Uh, how is it pronounced again? Uh, Crail. Crail Village. There might be a clue there. I'll uh, talk to the landlords. Tonight you should uh, sleep in the room on the third floor. Oh, nice. What a nice guy. The next day. Uh, oh shit, he has a car. It's a really big car. <laughs> well, you know. Do, 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 dude. Oh, I guess I'll have to translate that. Far. Uh, even among the four big, like, uh, like, car licenses. This one specializes in sports, and it's called Ingelt. I'm gonna be honest, I have zero fucking clue what he's saying. Oh, never mind, uh, Ingelt is like the name of the company, and he's saying that they specialize in sports cars, I guess? And, uh, this is like, this car is like their special, like, pickup truck, and he customized it, Specifically the front and the undercarriage. Um... Uh, I don't know, it's a really good car, though. Hey, did the voice acting stop, bro? Ah, oh, whatever, whatever. Uh, I guess you can't understand a man's dream. <laughs> Even though cars are like a necessity nowadays, women just don't seem to care about uh, car brands or like... their power or whatever. Um, I'm sure there are some women that are different. <laughs> but yeah, I really don't care about cars and stuff. 
I, I think it's cool. Uh, I don't know what this tuning is, though. <laughs> oh, whatever. Just uh, get in already. Oh, what are you complaining about so early in the morning? Was it Victor? Oh. Uh, thank you for breakfast. Oh, old man. And uh, Paulette, and you, may too. Uh, did you come see us off, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, uh, Perry too. Van was just kind of, uh, like, on the way. Uh, uh hey, that's rude. <laughs> mm hmm, uh, take, uh, this and that with you, please. It's, uh, some sandwiches and milk and coffee. Take it, or like have it, uh, instead of breakfast. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you so much uh, for like going to all the trouble. Uh, thank you. Uh, you also took care of me yesterday. Uh, I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> it's fine. It's only natural we take care of our customers. Your village uh, is the same, isn't it? Uh... Like, nod. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, small kids like you should uh, eat well and sleep well, that's what I always say. Van, Van you better make sure to take care of these two ladies. I get it, I get it. Uh, thank you for coming to see us off, uh, Yume. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good trip. I love this song too. I realize I don't think I've been as positive about the music in this game. I don't really like... I feel like I nerd out way too much about that shit. Or just straight up spurge out too much about it. So I've been trying to keep a lid on it, but... I've barely been talking about it at all, I think. I will say I really like the title theme in this game. So go listen to that if you haven't. I don't think I've really showed it. Actually, no, it, it did play in a scene at the end of uh, the prologue. So you have heard it if you've watched this. I didn't draw attention to it, but I do really like it. Ah, uh, wow, this is so fast. Ah, uh, but it's not really shaking that much, although it looks to me like it's shaking all over the place. I think I understand now why Van likes it so much. <laughs> now you get it. Uh, in about 10 minutes, we'll be off the highway and uh, out into the north uh, highway. Thing. And then I'll show you what this uh, baby can really do. Wow, so it can get even faster than this? Um, please be safe. <laughs> or please drive safely. But uh, I wasn't expecting you to come on this trip with us. I know you said you have a three-day weekend, but uh, hasn't the like new school term started or just started? But uh, I didn't want to be the only one left out, and as long as this might be related to the Genesis, uh, I might be like, able to help. Uh, and last night I managed to request uh, like uh, like permission to stay out uh, for a night, so please relax. Wait, you're way too, like, prepared, well prepared. But man, I thought you were meant to be at a prestigious high school, aren't they, like, way too lax? Huh? Oh, wait, he actually said here, um, like, it's, uh, lax as usual. And then Anya's kind of reacted to that. Uh, anyway, Ferry says, uh, Anya, you go to a famous high school, don't you? But you're just working as a part-time, uh, employee at, uh, Sir Van's office, right? 
<laughs> yes, although I just uh, started helping out, really. <laughs> well, she kind of forced me to hire her there. Anyway, uh, Farida, uh, can you stop calling me sir already? <laughs> as long as you're paying uh, the like, request fee, you're a customer. You don't need to be so like formal toward me. Huh? But... Okay, I guess I'll just call you Van. Uh, please call me Fairy then, too. Huh? Well, I guess I don't mind. <laughs> uh, Fairy, you said you were only, uh, 13. Does that mean you go to the, the church's, like, Sunday school? Uh, yes, I went up, like, a grade this year, and, uh, the lessons have started to get hard. Actually, I remember hearing your churches, uh, slightly different uh, to ours as well in Calvert. Yeah, the church organizations and the uh, chapels are different, but uh, the fact that we worship the goddess uh, is like the same. Oh, we still have uh, like churches that are in the uh, Middle Eastern style there. Eidos and Alusha, the uh, goddess of the sky and the goddess of wings. Uh oh, uh, the, like, what she's called in the, uh, the West and the Middle East are different, but, uh, she's, like, the same, uh, goddess as far as, like, the, uh, church's concerned. And by the way, the Easterners have a, another different, uh, name for her. Ah, I've, I heard about that from, uh, Ida, too. Hmm, this is, like, really fresh for me. <laughs> Uh, Fairy, you really do learn a lot of things from that Ida person, don't you? Yes, even beyond, uh, how to survive on the battlefield, she teaches me about, like, uh, like, trends and fashion and, uh, like, uh, stuff about other, um, countries and stuff. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this after requesting this of you, but... I can't believe that Ida's, uh, like, division would just go missing like that. They're very experienced and well-trained Jaegers. Uh, I think that, like, no matter what happens, they'll be able to get through it. Really? Uh, also that, uh, that, uh, that analyst guy called, uh, her the fire-eating bird, didn't he? That's a nickname that's pretty, uh, popular around those guys. Or not popular, but like well known. They say that her uh, bullets can cut through any enemy offense, and her knives can uh, cut through like uh, the enemy's morale too. And I think it was like five years ago that she ended up uh, like joining uh, Eisenschild. Yes, that's what I've heard. The so does that mean she was in a different group until then? Yes, there was a legendary Jaeger group. <laughs> Zephyr. They uh, didn't have very many members, but they were known as uh, one of the two like, uh, best uh, Jaeger groups on the continent. The group of specialists that were led by someone called or known as the King. Before she joined uh, Eisenschild, Aida worked there or like commanded a group there, like uh, before that. But five years ago, their leader died and. Uh, the, like, they disbanded. And that's when she, uh, like, went and joined, uh, Eisenschild, where she is now. Uh, Zephyr, so there are Jaegers like that, too. Well, I hear that they're actually still going, but they've just, uh, changed quite a bit. Yeah, they were the strongest, uh, Jaeger core in the continent, along with, the uh, the other one. If someone uh, who used to belong to Zephyr is the commander, then they probably uh, wouldn't lose to very many people. 
Yeah, uh, I know, right? But then why would uh, Ida not contact like, the main forces? Uh, uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, it's fine, we'll, we'll find them for sure. We don't know if they're in Krail Village or not yet, but I'm sure there'll be a clue there. Uh, Fairy, you learned a lot of things from Aida, didn't you? That knowledge and your feelings for her will surely uh, become a vital, like, key to uh, reuniting with her. So don't worry, uh, like, I know Van will help, but I'll, I'll also do my best to assist. Mm, thank you. <laughs> the fire-eating bird, Aida. She was directly involved in that thing to, or no, indirectly involved in that thing two years ago, wasn't she? Oh, she... She went out of her way to uh, help, even like putting distance between her and her own, her old like home. Does he mean like Zephyr? And to think someone that skilled has gone missing now, and even those uh, mementos are involved. Hmm. Something's definitely up. What we're gonna have to figure out is uh, whether or not she intentionally went into hiding or not. Interesting. Hmm. Hopefully it lets me say, I feel like this video has gone on pretty long, but I guess it's okay since we've had a bunch of uh, short ones recently. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I like that they did that. Rail Village. It's weird how it's spelled like Crayu Village. Ah, uh, it's really pretty around here. Ah, uh, it's so, like, green. Ah, uh, you wouldn't see anything like this in, uh, the Kruger village. Hmm, it's pretty rare, like, even for the capital standards, too. We're not passing, uh, the cars here. Like, we've got this, uh, view completely to ourselves. <laughs> it's just a plain country road. But, uh, we are making a good pace here. We... Should be there by lunch. Dot dot dot. Hmm, Van? Uh, uh, something's happening, like, in front of us. <laughs> hmm, I know you said you're not a full, uh, warrior yet, but... I guess that's a Kruger fighter for you. Uh, we're gonna stop up ahead. Embrace yourselves. Huh? The heck? Huh. <coughs> Oh, uh, that bus is being attacked by beasts. They're wolves. Wait, no, they're not. They Wait, are they? Yeah, they're wolves. Uh, there's seven. No, eight. Oh, uh, damn it. I don't like working for free, but... Well, you can't just leave them. We gotta, we gotta help them. I know, I know. If you're gonna support me, then, uh, like, be careful. Uh, client. No, fairy. Uh, what are you gonna do? You don't even have to ask. That's... It's an assault sword that's uh, used by the warriors. I'll protect you both. Uh, may the blessings of uh, flames and the goddess be on you or something. <laughs> nice. In that case, let's go. Hey! Wait, what? Uh, target and, uh, firing. You can target an enemy with R3? Oh. Yeah, so you lock on to an enemy with R3, and then, uh, when you fire, she'll, like, face the enemy automatically, which is pretty nice. You don't have to, like, worry about facing the wrong way. And then you can change targets with the right stick. And then apparently if an enemy comes within range of the... 
target cursor uh, will change. Oh, I see. So you can be locked on, but then it, it like it won't hit. Okay, 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 okay. But uh, we're not gonna do that right now. I really wanna end the video here and get something to eat. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, next time we're gonna kill some wolves. I'll see you guys then.